Hello and welcome to the Nice Jewish Time Traveler, where we ask, if not now, when? Today we're going to explore the holiday of Tu B'Shvat, the New Year of the Trees. For hundreds of years we've been celebrating this day by planting trees and eating fruits. But how will we celebrate Tu B'Shvat hundreds of years from now? I thought it might be nice to take a look at Tu B'Shvat in the year 2525. Let's check it out. Whoa, what a ride. Excuse me, sir. Where can we find some 26th century Tu B'Shvat festivities? Festivities? Are you Meshuggana? Tu B'Shvat is a day of mourning. Um, I'm afraid you're mistaken. Tu B'Shvat is no, a... No, 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 you're mistaken. Tu B'Shvat is the new year of the trees. All of the trees on the planet have long since been cut down and wasted by past generations who took them for granted. No trees? Now that the trees aren't removing carbon dioxide from the air, the effects of global warming have sunk Florida. Where's an old Jewish retiree like me supposed to live? I guess the tradition of eating fruits on Tu B'Shvat... Fruits! Fruits! Times are so tough that some rabbis are accepting soil and green as kosher. Is there anything previous generations can do to save trees and avoid this fate? Uh, planting trees is great. But the real trick is to save trees by knowing what to buy. When remodeling your home, use substitute materials or reclaimed wood. If you must use real wood, Make sure it is certified that they were grown on tree farms instead of natural forests. Buy recycled office paper for your printers and fax machines. Make sure that the throwaway products you buy like napkins and paper towels are made from recycled material. We shouldn't have to waste trees just to blow our noses. <coughs> and don't forget to bring your own bag to the grocery store. Great ideas. I'm going to go back to my era and get the word out. Yeah. Zeit gesund! <laughs>